Good morning, Forest. I'm Aubrey. And I'm Ava. And today's date is Tuesday, December 8th, and on today's show, we'll be taking a look at some important information and upcoming events. Students, please make sure you're cleaning up your trash around the courtyard to keep our campus clean and wearing your masks above your mouth and nose. Seniors, any students who are opting to stay closer to home for college due to COVID and online classes should know that CF is going to waive the $30 application fee. There is an informational Zoom meeting today at 5 p.m. Also, any students who participated in the Southeastern Youth Fair, make sure to check your scholarships on the website. The deadline is January 8th. To get in the holiday spirit, be sure to attend the Chorus Winter Concert Thursday, December 10th and Friday, December 11th at 7 p.m. Tickets are limited, so make sure to get your pre-reserved seats for $5. Hey, Aubrey, have you registered for Dance Marathon yet? Yes, I have, but if you haven't, search Donor Drive Forest High School on Google and register now. If you or your club adopted a Christmas angel this year, all the gifts will be collected tomorrow, so make sure to have all of your gifts in. Speaking of clubs, this Thursday is our United Way Carnival, so if you want to participate in running a club booth, reach out to your club sponsor. Now let's throw it over to Delaney with our sports for today. What's up, Wildcats? I'm Delaney with your sports news for today. The girls' basketball games through December 16th have been postponed, but the team will be back in action on December 17th. However, our boys' soccer team is playing the Villages at the Villages tonight at 7. Our baseball team also has a game tonight at the Villages. Speaking of baseball, there will be an informational meeting for anyone interested in trying out in the spring on Tuesday, December 15th during CAT. Please see Coach Yancey in Building 11, Room 16 to pick up a CAT Pass for this meeting. There will also be an informational meeting in the auditorium at 6 for any girls interested in playing lacrosse. Now let's throw it over to Haley to learn more about girls soccer. Hey Forrest, it's Haley here with Emily Risto from our girls varsity soccer team. How does it feel to be undefeated? Um, it feels really good. I just want to keep the energy up for the rest of the season and have a positive outlook on it, but it feels really good so far. I'm glad y'all are undefeated and I hope it stays up. Now, how does it? How did the Vanguard game go in your opinion? Um, in my opinion, and I can say for this, like for the entire team, um, in our heads, like we won. We ha kept possession the entire time, even though we tied one to one um, and their goal was a really good goal. Um, we just really, like, we kept possession the entire time. We played on their side of the field the entire game. And so in our heads, like, we all believe that, like, that was our game and, like, we played our hardest and, like, we won that in our heads. But even though the score was one-to-one, -one, we still believe that we won. Yeah, that's really good. And I'm glad y'all technically won. <laughs> Say that. So how are how's y'all's outlook going into your next games? Um, so... Our coach put our uh, county games first to kind of let us like get oriented with ourselves, get our communication down and get us more, get the chemistry of the team more like family like. And so we, when we get on that field, we play as a unit, not as like individuals. So um, going into this, for the rest of our season, we're playing a lot of out of county games, which means we, we actually over Christmas break are playing the number one team in the nation for high school soccer. So. Going into that, um, I'm glad that we've played the games like we've played so far to get us ready for it, but we're just going through with a positive outlook and excited to play games the rest of the season. Well, I'm really happy for y'all, and I hope y'all win. This has been Haley Shaw with Emily Risto. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, Haley. That's all the sports news I have for you today. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Delaney. It looks like our winter sports are going to have great seasons, so make sure to order Spirit Pride shirts by Friday from Miss Polars to have some gear. Check your emails for more information. All new members of the National Honor Society, remember induction is next Tuesday, December 15th at 6 p.m. It is mandatory to attend induction practice, which will be Monday and Tuesday during cap period in the auditorium. See Mr. Crawford for a cap pass. Also, the application window for school choice programs, including Magnet and Korean Technical Academies, has already begun and ends January 31st, 2021. If you're interested, there will be a virtual school choice expo Tuesday, January 8th and on January 21st from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. These meetings will inform parents and students about various schools and programs offered through school choice. 
there is a special opportunity for women in journalism to attend a workshop through the Reynolds Journalism Institute. See Mr. Guest for more information on registration. That's all the news that we have for you today. To stay updated on all things Forest, make sure to follow us at FHS underscore WCAT on Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, I'm Aubrey. And I'm Ava. Have a great day, Forest, and like always, Go, go Cats! Cats.